Commissioner Demoche, uh, Commissioner of NYPD, thank you very much for being my guest. It's a privilege and honor uh, for us for the 20 years of the 9-11 attacks. Um, I've read actually that um, you were on duty the same day, close to, uh, close to the Bronx, and you decided, you decided, you have been called to go on site um, to help, to help your brother in arms. And um, what I read actually is that your feeling was, I can't do almost anything. Can you tell us exactly if you remember the first second when you heard about the, the attack? Oh, I, I remember every second of the day, honestly. Um, I, I was home. I had my young son who was two years old at the time and I went to visit my, my mother and um, I didn't have any TV on or any radio on and my mother answered the door and I saw the look on her face and knew something was wrong and I, I stepped into her house and the picture of the planes hitting the towers was on the TV and just instantly um, turned around, called my wife and uh, told my wife I had to go into work and um, dropped my son off with my wife and headed, headed down to work. And, um, and when you arrived on site, yeah. what was your feeling? What, what did you see exactly? Driving in was unknown. I, I think you knew that, um, that something terrible had happened and you didn't know what that really meant at the time. And it had, you had the feeling that we were going to war. You didn't know if you would see your loved ones again, honestly, driving into work. Because if you, if you recall, it's now we know what happened that day. But at that moment in time, we, we didn't, what we knew was that there were a series of attacks. Uh, we didn't know what else was coming that day. And people, I think people forget that. There were some attacks, the terrorist attacks before, uh, but such as these, could you imagine once in your time? in your life? No, I, I, don't, I don't think anyone. I was working the day the, the, um, the bomb went off in 1993. Um, this was different. I mean, it's clearly related and it's another attack on the same building, but the, the, uh, the magnitude of this attack um, across, across the country was something that was, um, you know, just at the time it was unbelievable. If you were a commissioner at that time, what would be your answer to respond to war? This is similar, I think, in many ways. You, you have to respond in, in this position that I'm in right now. It's a little different. Um, you have to respond, but you also have to be removed. And you have to make sure that all the work that's gone into preparations and planning as much as you can for a terrible incident such as that. Um, that people do their jobs and people do what they're trained to do. The instant, um, the reaction I think is everyone respond right there and that's not always the best thing. So um, you hope that your training takes over and processes that have been put into place to make sure that the city continues, people are kept safe, evacuation plans are in order, all of that goes on. And that takes a level of management and I think restraint as well. Do you believe in uh, the security doctrine that has been known in Israel for decades? And do you believe in it? Do you believe that we need as a common security doctrine? Well, I think the, the collaboration among people across this world is key to keeping people safe. Um, so when you look at the work that's gone into keeping, um, I think the world's borders have shrunk and what affects Europe or the Middle East or South America and North America um, is almost in instantaneous. I think that's the good news in terms of collaboration among uh, members of law enforcement and the military and world leaders um, to make sure that we're doing everything possible to keep all people safe. That collaboration is necessary. Um, I know uh, and we know for a fact that you took the heritage of Commissioner Ke Kelly and you strength the Department of Intelligence uh, unit to make it not happen once again, yes. such an attack, such these attacks. Can you talk us about that? I, I think that's true. I, I th you got to give Commissioner Kelly an awful lot of credit. Um, it's one thing to now, again, to look back 20 years later, what we know. Um, 
when he came in shortly after 9-11 and, and standing up a world-class, world-renowned intelligence system, um, the work that he did in terms of um, putting, putting an apparatus into place to keeping New Yorkers safe, I think is widely recognized, and I think he deserves a lot of credit. And then as you move forward, um, subsequent commissioners, each taking a look at what the facts are right now and, and building on it. So, you know, when Commissioner Bratton came in working with, uh, you know, the executive team here, which I'm proud to be a part of, and standing up the Critical Response Command and, and making sure that uh, we continue to assess what the threats are, work with our partners. Again, not just here in New York City, we have detectives stationed around the world, including in Israel, uh, including in France. Um, and many other places, and uh, taking that information in, turning it into actionable intelligence, and then responding in kind with our counterterrorism measures and working holistically with um, law enforcement, state, local, and national across the country to make sure we're protecting New Yorkers. So I, I think that's the message, and, and that's what we're con committed to doing. Your son that was with you on the day of the attacks, today is an officer of the NYPD. Yes. Completely crazy like that, you know, he's, he's getting you proud to be an officer today. It is, it is uh, it's humbling to see, you know, life come full circle like that. And you see that often in this, uh, you know, in my case, you mentioned I was with my son 20 years ago when I found out, and now he's on the streets in New York keeping New Yorkers safe. But. I see that play out many times. We, we, we lost 23 members on 9-11 from the NYPD. We've lost hundreds more since to illnesses as a result of uh, the terrible attacks. And we have many, many children on this job now um, whose parents perished. Or, or fell victim to the illnesses after 9-11. And keeping that heritage alive and, and out there, and it's, it's something that doesn't go unnoticed. I mean, as an agency, we're incredibly proud of it. And I know that uh, as, as their loved ones are looking down from a better place, that they're incredibly proud too. Life goes on. Thank you very much, Commissioner Shea, uh, Demar Shea and YPD Commissioner Shea to, for being our guest. And uh, let's hope for the best in the future. Thank you. The best will come.